All right, so the windscreens are different. Um, so this is the DJI One uh, windscreen. So it actually, if you take the, if you take this mic out, um, basically it'll just actually screw on top of the mic just like that. But with this one, you basically take the mic out and then this one just actually sticks in and it clamps in. So it's more of a security that you have on your windscreen, but I have no problems with the mic one, but the mic two I'm dying to try out because it's vivid Bluetooth and you know, it has a thicker magnet behind so that, you know, when you stick it on your shirt, you don't have to worry about it, you know, dropping off. But with this magnet, it's a little bit thinner on a one, but like I said, I don't have any problems, never had a problem with the mic one, but the mic two, has a see-through um, mic, so you can actually see like the chips that's inside um, the the mic. And with this one, it's a little bit, you know, thinner, less less fatter than this one. I just realized that. But they both underneath have the same charging ports, uh, so you just stick them both in the box, and then that's how they charge. But you know, with this box, you stick that one right there, and then you stick that one this way and it charges. So with this one screen, it's easy to come off. So just pull and then it just clamps out. So when you put it back in, it clamps in. Um, with the DJI One, so we got them compared. So with the DJI One, you have to screw it off and basically that's how that comes off. But again, it's not a big deal. This one is secure when you screw it in and then that one just clamps in into the DJI Two. So on the back of it, it still has the clamp that you can clamp it onto your shirt. Um, same thing as the one, you could clamp that onto your shirt. They still have the charging cases that charges the devices when they about to die. Um, it's just one, this one a smaller case. Two, this one clamps and is a bigger case. So this is more secure than this one as other people like to say. Um, basically because this one could just pop open when you pull it open, but this one you will have to actually press a button and pull it back open. So it's more secure. The transmitters are different mics. These are the transmitters, uh, it's microphones. Uh, so you get two as you do with the mic one. Um, I'm recording off of the mic one. So, um, you know, basically that's how the audio is coming through is through the um, DJI Mic 1. Uh, the Mic 2, I haven't even tried out, so I will do an audio test between two mics to see exactly what mic sounds better. Um, I know the Mic 2 has noise canceling, so basically you can you know shut out the world and you can have that clear audio uh, compared to what other people say or have said. I like this one, the, the DJI Mic 2 case, because it's like, it's metal, it's a little bit um, heavier, and it's a little bit bulkier, and it's bigger than the DJI Mic 1. It also comes with a USB to a USB-C charge. Um, so the same thing that's on the back of the DJI 1 case, it's a USB-C, it's the same thing that's on the back of the DJI Two case is a USB-C, but like I like to tell you know my viewers, if you have a USB-C lying around your house and you want to just use it to charge, by all means you can do it. I use my computer for my Mac to charge most of my devices, and it charges it just like that, no problems. Um, but if you don't have no problem using the USB to USB-C, and you have that power port at home that plugs into the outlet or even your computer has a USB slot, then by all means you can charge this through your computer or even the outlet. So, or even a power bank. Um, power banks are good. Um, one of the power banks that I do personally recommend is the Anchor brand. All right, so I also have an uh, Anchor brand. Um, this is the 24K uh, digital Anchor brand. Anchor is a great company. Uh, I like it. I'm not getting sponsored by this company, so um, I don't get paid to, to talk about this, but I do like their brand. Um, I use Anchor for basically everything. 
This is a 24K where I'm charging my GoPro Hero 12 from it right here. It's a digital frame when you press the button on the side, then basically it'll show you the battery level. You can keep it on for a certain amount of time, like the front screen, etc., etc. But right next to it that I use to take on the go is his little brother, and it's a 20K. Um, reason why I get so high of um, the MAH is because the higher the MAH is, the better it is. But Anchor is known to be a good product. Uh, same thing, you press that side button on the um, left side, and basically, you know, you could be able to um, see how much battery power you have, how long the screen time you have, you know, if you want to keep it on just to look at it when it charges. You can use this to charge your, your device. It has two USB-C ports at the top and it has one USB port at the top also. So if you do have something like this, uh, USB to USB-C, just pop that in at the top. And then what happens is that you could take either the one or you can take either the two and just pop that in the back. And basically it indicates that it's charging at the front. The white light that's flashing at the front indicates that your device is actually charging. So this charging case is actually charging the case and the two mics and the receiver that's inside the box. So this is a charging case. I love what DJI did with this charging case. Um, I love it, it's bigger. You can use this to charge your, your device. It has two USB-C ports at the top and it has one USB port at the top also. Oh, and also what I like about this one is that when I'm about to charge it, I don't have to hook it up to no cord. If you got a dock like this, you just slide it on there. Bam, it just charges it. For the top of the DJI Mic 2, uh, it comes with the audio, it comes with the audio cord. Now, I don't know if DJI meant to like make the cord a little bit, you know, bent. Um, to just fit in the bag, but it's pretty cool. It's a thicker cord. Um, it's just um, ox to ox, so female to male. Uh, you can choose to, you know, if you don't choose to use this, you can always use the adapter. So this thing will work with an Android phone, so or any any USB-C device um, that actually supports a mic. Also, I like how DJI made it easy for us to slide out from underneath. It's a little bit tough to slide it from underneath the DJI Mic 1. Compared to the, the DJI bag, this is the bag that the DJI 1 comes in. So basically it's a little bit smaller like I said. Uh oh, we got something that's not quite in there. So like I said, the DJI 1 box is smaller, lighter, and it fits into this bag, which seems like it seems like it's not safe to you know carry and it's easy easier to lose but with this one I love the bag because we put this in here we're gonna put this in here right and then we're gonna take the two windscreens we put in those little slots and then we're gonna take the cord which you know DJI uh, bend it for us so that we don't damage the um, the cords inside that that audio cord so that you know you keep it safe and it's it fits into the bag according to how DJI had it bent um, and then we take the power cord because we can't forget that USB-C power cord and we put it in that bag too right so then once we put them all in that bag you just hold the bag and then you zip it up so all that stuff that I had on here on this table actually fits into this bag right here. All neatly, gently. Uh, I feel more content with this bag. Like, you know, I could carry it anywhere that I want and I don't have to worry about it getting damaged. Unlike the DJI One, you know, you have a little pouch and that's all that you have for protection. So, you know, you make a mistake and bang the mic or the charger. Of course, you're gonna bang the charger. Um, before you bang the mics, you could probably mess up the charger. Maybe not the mics. And also, I like on the DJI 2, 
that you have a clip case, unlike the DJI One, you could just pull the case open and it opens automatically like that. So that can cause your mics to actually fall out along with your transmitter and it could cause it to break. This one I feel firmly and I feel like I will travel with this one more than I actually travel with this one. I do actually travel with this one sometimes, but not like I will travel with this one because this one feels more firm. It might take up a little more space in my bag, but it's okay because I don't really have that much in my bag, but I could record the audio not from my phone or my um, GoPro. Yes, you can actually hook this up to your GoPro. Um, you can use the audio from here instead of your GoPro mics that's built into the GoPro. You use the mics from this DJI Mic 2, and that's what I did with um, the DJI 1, where I can use this. I used to use this with my GoPro, but now I'm going to use this baby because this baby is more firmer, more tougher, and I mean, I just like the bag, you know.